Example number nine of how to use a method of substitution to integrate is right here. And again, the question is, if we're going to use a method of substitution, what is the substitution here? What are we going to substitute for u? And typically, the exponent of e is a good candidate. So let's try that. Let u equal minus 1 over x. That means that du is equal to, hmm, how do we write that? Well, that's the derivative of that, so let's write this as minus 1x to the minus 1 power. And if we take the derivative of that, du dx, that's equal to, bring the exponent to the front, so that would be plus 1 times x to the minus 2, because then we subtract 1 from the exponent. Okay, and so that means that du is equal to x to the minus 2 dx, uh, which can be written as du is equal to 1 over x squared dx, and that means that dx can be written as x squared du. And then we're going to substitute this and this in the integral sign. All right. So instead of writing minus 1 over x, we're going to write u. And instead of dx, we're going to write x squared du. So this can now be written as the integral of e to the u divided by x squared. And instead of dx, we write x squared du. And then notice that this x squared cancels that x squared, and we'll simply end up with e to the u du. All right, so the trick here was take what's the, what the exponent is for e and replace that by u. And then you can see that the problem simplifies to a form that's easily to integrate because e to the u du is e to the u plus, of course, a constant of integration, and then you substitute back in what u is equal to, which is minus 1 over x, so this is equal to e to the minus 1 over x, plus a constant of integration, and there's the integral, or the, the result of the integration as the example. Okay.